In this video, I will show you how to set up a Chinese pinyin keyboard on Windows, Mac, Android, and iOS. In that order, all the timestamps will be to my left and also in the description box down below. Now, before we begin, I do want to let you know that to type U with an umla in pinyin, you type the letter V on the QWERTY keyboard. So to get Lü, L-U with an umlaut, you would type L-V. So with that out of the way, let's get started. On Windows 11, the easiest way to go ahead and add a Chinese pin keyboard is to go down to your taskbar and click the search icon and just look for languages. The first one that comes up is language settings. That's what we're looking for. Now we click add a language, search for Chinese. Here you'll have a, quite a variety of different Chinese. Really, it's just differences in vocabulary. If you want simplified Chinese, it's going to be the first two options. For most people, you're probably going to want mainland. If you want traditional Chinese, then it's going to be the last three. For most people, you're probably going to want to choose Taiwan. If you want Cantonese, you're probably going to want this one, Hong Kong, because they speak Cantonese in Hong Kong. So I'll go ahead and choose the first one, and we'll just click Next. You'll see that there are also some optional language features. You can select these and unselect these depending on what you need. And then just click Install. Now that's done downloading, you'll see one difference on your desktop, and that's in the bottom taskbar, you'll see this ENG. That stands for English, of course. If you click on it, you'll see all of your languages. So right now it's just English and Chinese. So now if you have Chinese selected, you can go ahead and type in Chinese. Now a really useful shortcut to switch between languages is to press the Windows button and spacebar. And so now we're in English again. If we press Windows spacebar again, we're back in Chinese. On macOS, it's pretty easy to switch to the Chinese keyboard. All you're looking for is the Apple icon on the top left. You want to click on that and go down to System Preferences. From System Preferences, select Language and Region. And on the bottom, select Keyboard Preferences. To the left, you'll see that we currently have a US English keyboard. And now click on the plus icon to add a keyboard. And you'll see down here we have Chinese Traditional. So if you want traditional Chinese script, then you will select that and look for the pinyin. Or if you want simplified, you can scroll down or you can just search for it. Here we have simplified Chinese. Again, you want the pinyin keyboard. That's probably what most people use. So now you'll see on the left, we have the US English keyboard and also the pinyin keyboard. A really useful shortcut here is to keep this button on. It says use the caps lock key to switch to and from US. So this allows you to quickly toggle between your two languages. So now to see it in action, we can type in Chinese. If you press the caps lock key, you can switch back to English. On Android, it doesn't really matter which version you're running as long as you're using the default keyboard, which is Google Gboard. And if your keyboard looks a little something like this, it's probably Gboard. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on the setting button on the top, click on languages, add a keyboard, and then scroll down until you find Chinese under C. This is alphabetical, of course. So here, if you speak Cantonese, obviously choose Cantonese. But for most people who are learning Mandarin, or if you speak Mandarin, you're going to want Chinese simplified or traditional. We're just going to click on simplified. Now, Google does something weird where they also allow you to toggle on traditional Chinese. If you want to type in simplified, you want to leave that off. If you want Chinese simplified and traditional, you have to add both keyboards. There's also a few different types of keyboards you can choose from. There's pinyin, which is automatically selected, nine key, handwriting, and also stroke. I suggest you also download handwriting because that's really useful for inputting characters you're not familiar with if you don't know how it's pronounced. And most of these other settings you can just leave on the default. You can just play with them if you want to, but we're just gonna click done at the bottom. So now you can see we have three different keyboards under languages. And if we go back to our keyboard, the spacebar will say English now to indicate that we're currently on English, but if you click the button to the left of the spacebar, then you can toggle between your different keyboards. So now it says pinyin, so we're typing in Chinese now, and you'll see that it works. If you click on it again, you can toggle to the handwriting keyboard, and here you can just trace out the characters to input the character you want, like this. To set up a Chinese keyboard in iOS, first go to your settings, and from here, scroll down until you see general. And in general, go down until you see keyboard. And on the top, you'll see that we have two keyboards currently. Press that tab. The English and the emoji keyboard are what we have right now, but you can add a new keyboard. And then you can search for Chinese. Obviously, you can select between simplified or traditional script. We're just going to go ahead and click on simplified. QWERTY keyboard is the one you probably want. That's what most people use. 
I would also suggest handwriting because that's really useful to input characters that you're not familiar with. Press done. And now you'll see that on our keyboard, we have this little glow button on the bottom left. If you press on that button, you can toggle between your different keyboards. So here's the pinyin keyboard, and that will allow you to type in Chinese. And let me give you a quick demonstration also of the handwriting keyboard. And this is what that would look like.